If you want to record your Jamalus performance in Reaper with high quality audio recording, how can you achieve it? Um, that's the question I want to answer in this video. Welcome. So uh, we've learned in the last video uh, how we can route from main stage over the black hole driver into Jamalus. And this was uh, achieved by creating an aggregate device in the audio MIDI setup, like this one. Okay, where you can aggregate all your devices that you have, so your sound card, your keyboard, your your black hole driver. Okay, um, and by doing um, this, by, by you can go in, in Jamalus and selecting your your aggregate device, right, uh, and, and select the black hole one and two driver for input mo mapping. So basically, everything that uh, comes from main stage is being routed into Jamalus, sent to your peers coming back from the server and now the output from the server um, is not being sent to your sound card to hear it but to another black hole channel pair like three and four as you can see here um, now the disadvantage is I cannot hear anything if I play or if I speak I cannot hear anything yet because uh, there's no routing available from three and four to my sound card um, and Reaper is not doing anything yet. So, fire up Re Reaper, please. Great, new track. I uh, press the record button, and now you will hear me twice because um, the default is on my uh, is on my Scarlet. Go for input stereo and choose black hole th input three and input four. There, there we are. are. Okay. okay. Now no, I'm, I'm not, not talking, talking twice. twice I'm talking, talking now through channels and through Reaper, and the, the output, output is go coming out of Reaper, Reaper um, onto my um, main sound card. So, so if, I, if, I, if I turn this one off, the record monitor, I cannot hear myself anymore. So this, the most important thing is turn, turn this one on. The, the um, record monitoring, monitoring button, button so that you can hear yourself. Now, if I play, play something, something uh, I, I can, can hear myself playing. playing. Right. right. So, um, in order to record your performance uh, with, with others now, you obviously have to press the record button and off you go. There we are. It's all going over, over Jamalus, um, and since I'm using my own uh, server, it's a bit crackling here and there, uh, because my system has to do OBS recording, you know, all of this kind of routing, <laughs> so uh, bear with me. Um, now I can turn uh, off also um, Jamalus, and you will not be able to hear me anymore. Also here is not, you know, coming any signal anymore because uh, Jamalus doesn't send anything, right? If you now want to hook up uh, to a public server and play with some guys, uh, obviously um, they will hear me talking, they will hear me playing, but it's also being, the, the complete performance is being recorded into Reaper. Very, very easy uh, and slick, and you can uh, keep that running while you are playing your, your sessions. Uh, it adds a bit of latency, um, be aware of that one. Uh, if it's too much for you, I mean, uh, just uh, turn it off and um, use uh, OBS because OBS is able to um, record a screen or just an audio input um, and um, do this without adding uh, any latency. Okay. If you're running the um, the server, the, the Jamalus server by yourself, uh, there's an option to uh, activate the recording and this will place also as well, you know, Reaper projects um, to your hard disk, uh, which uh, give you the possibility to have um, a track for each and every instrument, which is even better. Um, so if you also uh, uh, install um, a Jamalus server in the cloud, you can also enable this kind of feature so you have recordings of everything. Okay, that's it for today. See you soon.